So I see folks posting photos all the time in Facebook groups or on Instagram, or they send me photos saying, hey, what's going on in my garden? And a lot of times I can't tell from the photo um, what is going on in the picture. It's too blurry. Um, and unfortunately our cell phones just don't work well for macro photography. So I've been using this Dino Light for years. We carry it on our website. It's gonna run you about two to $300 delivered. Um, they're depending on the resolution that you want. Uh, but it is really the gold standard when it comes to these USB microscopes. They, it works really, really well. Um, here's an image of an aphid that I took today uh, just to give you an idea of the quality. And I want to do a comparison uh, because, you know, it, it all starts with a good identification. But people are like, I don't have, you know, $200, $300 to spend on a microscope, which I totally understand. So Suzanne Wainwright Evans, uh, my, my dear friend, the bug lady, recently recommended to a group uh, for an affordable Wi-Fi digital microscope, this one from Amazon. This was $30 for Prime Day. And I wanted to give you guys a little comparison so you could kind of see the pros and cons because there were definitely some things I came across with this microscope that uh, I really didn't like. And then there were some other things that, that pretty much blew me away in terms of quality. So uh, let's, get, let's dive into it. So really quickly, it's a wireless microscope. It hooks up via a Wi-Fi connection, which has its pros and cons, and I'll show you how that process looks here in a second. Um, you have your on-off button here, uh, LED adjustment, it's quite bright, and then this is just like a dyna light, this is how you focus the light, um, or sorry, focus the image that you're looking at. Um, and then you have a digital zoom additionally here on the back as well. It comes with a nice little stand, um, and probably the coolest thing it comes with is this cover. I don't understand why Dynalite doesn't send these covers with their lights. It's a really, really nice feature. Um, I have to keep my Dynalite in the bag in order to keep dust out of it. Um, Suzanne, I think, even puts like a Ziploc baggie around it too to, to keep the microscope lens clean. Uh, it does come with a stand. Dynalite charges extra for this. However, the stand, um, I don't really use the stand anyway, but the stand did fit for the Dynalite too. So just something to be aware of. And then uh, here's my charger. It's a pretty standard charging adapter connection. Um, it takes about three hours to charge, they say. How long it lasts on a charge, I don't know. I just haven't used it long enough yet. But let's go ahead and dive into the microscope itself and then compare some images and talk about the pros and cons. Okay, so I went ahead and stole my wife's phone and downloaded this Max C app onto it so I can record and show you what's going on at the same time. Uh, one thing about this phone is it does require you to connect through Wi-Fi, so I actually have to go to my Wi-Fi settings here. It doesn't take you to the right location, but it takes you close. Um, it'll go in here, and in order to see the Wi-Fi network that I need, I actually need to turn the light on here. So let's turn it on. You'll see the LED light comes on. And uh, one thing I found is it's, it's pretty good in that regard, like usually pretty quickly here that Wi-Fi network will show up. There it is, so Max C. Now we're connected to it. If we go back to the app itself, now we have an image. And you can see that's the image of this cover, which is a really nice feature that it comes with that cover. If I snap the cover off here, drop it down here, you can see now I'm recording or uh, magnifying this wood table. Um, now a couple things about this, uh, about this in terms of user, user ability that's really nice. Now if I'm in a, in a outside or in a grow room, it's kind of nice that I don't have a cord to deal with. I don't have to be right next to my phone. Um, those are all really nice features. And then also over here, you can zoom in and zoom out. So if I want to zoom in, there you go. I can see it goes up to two times there. And then I can adjust, just like with the Dynalite, I adjust my uh, magnification and resolution over here. And the, the Dynalite actually has two levels of zoom that it will focus. This one only has one. So once you're in focus, you're kind of, you're kind of there. That's the image. Um, so a little bit of, a little bit less quality there. Um, also, if I want to take a video, I have to click over here on video. And now it's recording a video. You can, the only way you can know that is by looking up here in the corner. Um, so that's not quite as, as easy as on a Dynalite either. And then the resolution I can adjust right here. I can also rotate the image 180 degrees. And then I can snap photos on here or I can snap photos on here. Either will take a picture of the image. 
and then I can go back to my photos library and see. Now, um, with the Dino Light, you have this really intuitive button here. Now, yes, I can take photos directly on my computer, but it's much easier to just click this little button here to start a video or start a photo. And so in that regard, I think the Dino Light wins as well as in the zoom. But let's look at the actual quality of this camera and see if this is something that will work for folks who just need a picture of an insect to send off her ID or for scouting in their room. And they're not really interested in getting that super high resolution. So let's compare the two. So here's the video of the Wi-Fi digital microscope. Um, as you can see here, the quality is pretty good. You can see the aphid itself uh, crawling around on the leaf. I went ahead and went with video instead of a photo because the uh, image quality is going to look exactly the same. I compared them. And um, so you do get a high quality photo or image. And then it does have this digital zoom where you can push these buttons on the back to zoom in or out using the digital uh, ability. And you can get quite close and get a pretty good image. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the resolution on this camera. Um, I'll save some of the negatives for my little summary at the end here. But the image, pretty good. Now, compared to the dino light here, which is, is now on the screen, you can see the dino light, this is the exact same leaf, by the way, just a different section with more aphids, um, allows you to have that second layer of, of optical zoom. So much higher quality. I can zoom in on the cornicle there, or um, now I can see the head of the aphids and a bunch of aphids here crawling around. So. Again, you get what you pay for in terms of the lens quality with the Dino Light. So I'm really, really still happy with it overall. Okay, so let's summarize the difference between these two microscopes. You know, with this Dino Light, I'm gonna be paying more, but the image quality is going to be much, much higher. Uh, it's gonna have customer service and support. Um, it's gonna have updates. It's, uh, it's with a good company, and I've, I've worked with them now personally, and I'm really happy with it but um, it is expensive and, and you're paying for that quality. Now this, this light on Amazon, this microscope, um, let's talk about some of the cons. I showed you guys the image and again, it's pretty good, but there are some cons that go along with it too and things need to be aware of. So one, um, I originally took some images and I didn't wanna share my wife's photos with the app and um, I thought I could just uh, share selected photos. It didn't actually take any photos or videos until I shared all my photos. Um, I thought I was recording photos. I wasn't recording any photos. And then I thought I would send those photos to, from her phone uh, to either my MacBook or to my phone via AirDrop or uh, email or even Dropbox. And I wasn't able to do any of that. Um, it won't let me share the videos. It'll let me share the photos. So if I wanna just snap a photo in a grow room really quickly and send that photo off to someone, I absolutely can. But if I take a video, the only way that I found I was able to share the video was to take it add it to my iPhone library um, on my computer and then drag and drop it onto the desktop and then take that file and that file was then shareable. I have no idea why. Um, it actually, my wife's phone during all of this ended up getting stuck with only Siri working and I couldn't even do a, a reset until I did a force quit on the whole phone. Um, I don't know if that was related to this either, but it seemed glitchy. Um, so. I'm not, I wasn't too excited about that. You know, now, since I have both, how often will I be using this one? Um, well, I'll lend this one out to friends and family and things like that. Um, it's, it, the advantage of it is it's really portable. If I break it, I'm not gonna be heartbroken for 30 bucks. And um, if I'm out in the field and I wanna snap some quick photos, this is really nice. I don't need my laptop and everything like I do with this Dino Light for a setup. So again, there are some pros and cons to it, but, um, because I really like taking high quality photos, I'll probably be using my Dino Light more. But if you're a grower, you want something quick, you're not too concerned about the privacy issues or some of the glitchiness or necessarily being able to share the videos, um, this might work great for you. So you can check it out. I'll put a link in uh, the comment section there for folks who want a, a direct link to it to buy it. Um, I do, just full disclosure, I do sell Dino Lights. I think I mentioned in the video. So I do have a relationship with them. Um, I know nothing about the company that makes these. Uh, There's just something that Suzanne put up. So 
happy growing guys. Remember, identify your pests. That's the most important thing before we take any steps or action in terms of application or pesticides or anything. You always have to start with a positive ID. So, all right, take care.